Hello there everyone and I am Brian with bsintech.com. Today I'm going to show you around our garden which includes our rain barrel system as well as our new PVC irrigation system that I finally got all finished up today. There's a few things that I still have to do but for the most part I have all of the PVC laid out and I'm just going to take a uh, quick glance around with you and show you around the garden and all of the system that I have. In our last video, I showed you that we had a 220 gallon rain barrel system. Recently, I just upgraded this to a six barrel system, so it now holds 330 gallons. The way that it's set up is the same that it was previously. I just have a two inch PVC pipe connecting all of them. And then up here, I have a male threaded adapter that goes right into the bung hole of the tank and then these here are so called they're PVC unions so I can just twist them and cut, pull them apart now we've had quite a bit of rain over the past couple days um, I want to say it's about three-fourths of an inch now you can't very see it very excuse me you can't see it very well but uh, the uh, the second ridge right up there the rain barrels are completely filled all the way up to there with water so that looks to be about, so that's 240 gallons of water that I have total. Now let's go ahead and show you what I've been doing around the garden lately. See all the PVC pipe here? The PVC pipe is what the rain barrel system is connected to. So you can see down here, I've got a ball valve and this will allow me to turn on and off the flow and it's connected to a 3 4 inch PVC pipe that runs all the way along up there. And uh, I'll show you that here just in a moment, but I have a T up there which will connect this uh, part of the garden. And then it also continues up to the front yard. The reason I use the 3 4 inch PVC pipe is since this goes about 100 feet, I don't want there to be very much resistance. Now, with the PVC pipe here, there are little 1 16th inch holes. I don't know if you can see it there but there's one right there and what you do is you just use a drill and you put a 1 16th inch hole along your PVC pipe see here's another one right there and uh, what I did here is these are spaced six inches apart because I'm going to grow some green beans right there but you space them however far apart that you want so if you're growing corn you'll put one every foot or potatoes every foot cucumbers or tomatoes every two feet and uh, it's a very nice drip irrigation system it works very well and I'm gonna actually show you how well it works here just in a minute so as you can see following the 3 4 inch pipe right there I have a T and right now I have it off but this T right here I will put an automatic water timer and then I will connect all of these pipes up to it and then this will allow the water timer to control the water and then over here I have another garden beside the house and there's two rows of pipes there I still need to put one more row in so part of the garden I have the uh, area right by the house and then back here is the uh, area behind the garage also another thing I recently done was use some uh, foundation blocks and make a retaining wall and then I filled all the blocks up with some uh, some dirt there and what I'm gonna do is put in one onion in each of those so I can put about 50 onions back here all right now we're gonna go ahead and go all the way up to the front again this is the 3 4 inch main PVC pipe and then this is another thing that I've been working on too I dug a trench in our landscaping so we can hide all this pipe right here uh, but this pipe it turns it does a 90 degree elbow right there and then it comes all the way up also, real quick, let me show you our strawberry pyramids. There's our nice strawberry pyramids and the grape arbor. I just got done pruning the grapes yesterday, but uh, that's a very nice way of put, putting more strawberries in a 4x4 four four square foot area. There's about 24 strawberries in each of these two patches. Okay, now let's continue on here. And again, there's the 3 4 inch PVC pipe. And I have another ball valve right here, so I can just turn it on, and then I can just put a hose right here. So let's turn that on. 
And there's the water flow. This is going over a hundred feet and that uh, the water pressure is still very good with the rain barrels because I have them all put in series. So now we're all the way up to the front and here is one of the water timers. I just got the front garden all done today. This is a Nelson water timer and then I just have a female threaded uh, PVC connector here on the back end and then it goes and it feeds the whole big front garden area. You might think, wow, that's a lot of PVC. Now, I had to actually build kind of a fencing area around here because we have a big problem with deer. Deer like to get in and eat anything and everything that they can. So I just got done building all the structure today and uh, also along with all the PVC irrigation system. So the, again, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six irrigation pipes. They are 20 feet long. And uh, you can see that they're actually sitting on some more PVC pipe. The reason I had to do this is because our front yard here goes at an incline. And you can see over time how the uh, vertical pipe keeps getting longer and longer until it all the way comes back here. Believe it or not, this is completely level. Now, why does it need to be level? Well, that's a good question. It needs to be level, otherwise you're going to have all of your water drip down to the lowest point, and the pressure at that lowest point is going to be much more intense, so you may end up losing some of your irrigation or some of the dripping on some of the other 1 16th inch holes that you made. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you now how this works, and it works wonderfully. The automatic timer here is, again, it's a Nelson and it has an on off switch as well as several other settings. Now I'm just going to turn it on. All right, now the water is starting to flow. I don't know how well this video is going to pick this up. Here's some dripping already starting. See the drips there? It is wonderful. It works perfect. And again, there's going to be corn up here in our front garden. So I have spaced the holes every one foot. It's taken a little bit more time, but eventually every single one of these will start raining, dripping. Now I plan to put this on a 15 minute every other day interval. So this will water every other day for 15 minutes. See, it's going all the way down there to the end, and the reason it's doing so is because I have this completely level. Otherwise, all of the rain or all the water would be going there to the end. And again, this is completely free water. It's coming right from our garage, which is a 24 by 24 foot garage, and it collects all the rain. And we get about 330 gallons of rainwater for every inch of rain. I'm going to show you now here down at the end. And there you can see all the wet spots in the soil and how this is working very well. So if you need a uh, cheap, well, not very cheap, but an inexpensive irrigation system that will provide just enough water for your vegetables, consider using rain barrels and a drip irrigation systems such as these PVC pipes. Now I have probably about 40 pipes altogether and there are uh, the 10 foot links I purchased for 89 cents and then you have all your fittings like your 90 degree elbows there's a 90 degree elbow down there and then there's some T connectors through here and the T connectors will all put everything in sequence. And now the whole system is completely watering very well. Look at all that. I'm actually very impressed that the water system worked because there's over a hundred and twenty holes in this entire array and it's working just perfect. So that's all for today. Uh, thank you again for watching uh, the gardening here at BS and Tech. Check out our garden blog at bsntech.com and I post updates usually weekly with everything that we're going. Thanks again for watching.